Management of Batteries from Electronics, with a special thanks to Advanced Technology Recycling for sharing its photographs in PowerPoint. First step is to identify the type of battery that you're dealing with. Most batteries these days have a label that will specify the battery type. There are some examples shown here. Step two, to recover these batteries for recycling. Pull them off and cover the leads completely. The leads on every battery must be taped to prevent the battery from heating up and causing a fire. Locate all the battery leads, the exposed metal on them, and cover them completely with either clear tape, duct tape, or masking tape. Step three, lead acid batteries. These are the types of older rechargeable batteries found in backup or uninterruptible power supplies, vehicles, early vacuum tube radio receivers, and emergency lighting. Cover the leads completely with tape as shown here. Alkaline and zinc batteries are the type most commonly found in households in consumer electronics. For recycling, completely tape the entire battery from top to bottom with no part of the battery ends left uncovered. Coin or button lithium batteries, the BR and CR series, are commonly found in motherboards and all types of small portable electronics. Use the quarter roll method to tape these. Cover them completely. Roll one side, flip it, and roll the other side so that no metal is showing at all through the tape. Damaged batteries. We don't have good photos to show for this, but use common sense. If a battery is obviously leaking, you notice that there's liquid or some corrosive dry material um, oozing forth from the battery. Then wear gloves for safe handling. Check the battery itself and the surrounding area for leakage. And ATR requires that their employees notify a team lead or a manager who will then safely clean it up using the spill response, response procedure. Or if you have been trained, properly, you can use the battery acid spill kit and use the spill response procedure to clean this up. Lead acid batteries that are damaged, cracked, or empty of acid are safe to ship as is to the recycler. Batteries that are warm to the touch. Put gloves on for safe handling after identifying that the battery is warm. Remove the warm battery from the location and place it in a container labeled warm batteries with make this la label red for temporary holding until it cools down. Once it's cooled, it's okay to tape the leads and sort it into the other batteries intended for recycling. The shelf life for battery containers in Illinois is one year, a maximum of one year. Each battery storage container must be labeled with the green Universal Waste Batteries label shown here. First, write the type of battery and then note the accumulation start date on that label. Allow at least one month before the end of shelf life to ship the container to the battery recycling company. That's a good policy, even no matter where you are, but especially here in Illinois with our iffy weather in winter, sometimes you don't know how long it's going to take to ship something and get it to its end destination. So it's a good policy to leave that extra month before the uh, shelf life expiration date. Containers that are full but not near the end of shelf life should be shipped anyway. Containers that are not full but at the end of their or near the end of their shelf life should go ahead and be shipped. Battery station and battery storage pallets. Battery stations should be clearly labeled. All batteries kept for recycling recovery must be kept separately from any other material that could potentially catch on fire in an area clearly labeled battery area as shown here. Each battery must have its leads taped, the batteries are sorted by type and stored appropriately, and all containers containing batteries must be stored on these special spill pallets like the type shown here. Even if the battery wasn't leaking when you had it in the container or shrink wrapped it onto the pallet, it's possible that it may leak during shipment and so that's why we have these requirements in Illinois for these special spill pallets.